Hello, trading is closed on March 25th, 2015. I'm Jeffrey Tennant. My last call, I'm sorry to say, was that I was looking for a move up right from the open, a good rally with a target of 2100.75. Obviously, the call failed. Usually, when my calls fail, the market has the decency to have a gap in the other direction at the open. That didn't happen here, so that's just a miss. We have to add 2100.75 to our list of failed targets. We also have a new target from today's pattern of 2090.11, most likely to print tomorrow. I think make that by early um, Friday. I think that's uh, unlikely. I think it's an increased risk of failure. But while we're adding these to the list, we get to remove two targets from earlier in the month. We had this 2087 and a half target from March 19th. It was good support, but the support fell. And there was a target of 2065.40. There was some support right there, but that didn't hold either. With the addition of this failed target of 2100.75, the only other failed target from this year is 1986.08. We have this cluster in October of last year. We have one target from April, and every other MJT target has printed. Not always when we would like it to, though. During the day, MJT gave an ultimate sell signal here. It said the rally was false. It said this rally was false. But it also says the drop is false and gives us a target of 2090.11. That's the one I think is a long shot. It also, for the first time in several months, gave a page 120 a buy signal. Uh, just to clarify, there is a signal on page 120 of my book. It says that before tomorrow's close, we should have a rally of between 8 to 10 points. It doesn't say from where the rally begins, and it doesn't imply that we have to close up. But the signal has worked every single time since the summer of 2002, except once when we only got a, a uh, move of seven and a half points instead of eight. Otherwise, the eight to 10 point rally has always worked. Well, I think that's a long shot. So let's look at some other things. Let's look at the long term picture first and then focus it on tomorrow. Well, here's the daily chart. Here are these prices. I had a number of prices I said earlier should print at some time. Some of them we have seen. We haven't seen 1986.08 or 1972.56. I think they are coming. This trend line here is obviously very significant. We've hit it four times usually when you hit it so many times eventually it'll break and if we break it tomorrow by having a gap under it that targets um, about 1960. There are some other bleak targets if this this count is correct and that's wave A and that's B and we've started wave C down C equals A is a frequent occurrence. And if that happens, it, threat, it targets about 2035 minus. We are now trading under the FOMC announcement. If we get the standard whipsaw, we trade it over this announcement price by about 47 and a half points. We should trade under that price by at least as much targeting under 2020. It's usually a three-leg whipsaw, which means after that drop, we would 
trade over this price here, which um, doesn't seem very plausible at the moment, but that's what the signal says. Well, those are all pretty bleak long-term pictures. What do we have in the near term? Well, we do have sequential and combo buys on the 15-minute chart. We have a Hobson close right at the low of the day. Often that leads to a gap up. We have a combo, a buy on the 30-minute chart. We have a drop two, but not through this significant trend line. And I should say we have now traded under every high. We have now closed under every high of this rally, which if maintained has very ominous longer term implications. And the last possibility for a bounce tomorrow, well, let's see if we can get a better chart than that. We have a long rally here. I don't know if it's long enough or not, but Tom DeMarc has a rule that says if you trade under the 61.8% and the 38.2% retracement level on the same day, that you should recover and close over the 38.2% retracement level. Now, this may not be long enough of a rally for that to hold, but if it holds, we should close over 2068.40. So for tomorrow, I think the open's critical. The best I can come up with for tomorrow is that we have a gap up at the open, probably have an 8 to 10 point rally at some point during the day, and close over six over 2068.40. It's always tough to take a one day position against the trend, but that's what my indicators have to say. If we start dropping instead, I certainly don't plan to risk any money on it. I'm not risking any money on it overnight. I think because of the ominous longer term picture, it may give a more favorable opportunity to initiate a short position. Uh, that is today's call.